Hello there, I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky, and today I want to look at a quick sort of trick that you can use when you're in the terminal to take notes and put them into Obsidian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into NeoVim and we'll see what we put in there for the config file for ZSH. To do that, I've got a shortcut and all I've got to type in is ZCon. So here we go, ZCon. Type that in and I'm into this here. Now I'm going to go to the end of the file and to do that, I'm going to do Shift G and then just go up a bit to get to where I need to go to. So in line 129 I've got a comment just to say what the function underneath does. So the function is called note and then the next line down what that does is to put the date into the note. The line underneath that will take whatever you put after the word note will go into the actual note itself and then we've got one more line and that will put a space underneath that. So you have a space in between all of your notes that you put into your document. So let's go into another tab on this warp terminal and we'll actually use it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put a quick note in there. And to do that, all I've got to do is type in note. And if it's a short note, then you can just start, start typing the words in there. So let's type some words in there. And we've all got, we've always got to do hello world there, haven't we? So let's do hello world. So let's move across to Obsidian and you can see that there is our hello world in the note that we created. And this works great for short notes. I found that if you're using a longer note, it might be better to put some quotation marks in it as well. So if I want to do a longer note, let's get a longer note. Let's just grab a bit of text. Imagine this is me making a longer note. So I'm going to do note, and then I'm going to do the quotation marks. This is me typing in a long note. So there's my long note that I'm typing in. I'll press enter and it didn't work. <laughs> I thought that should have worked. But for some reason it's come up with this D quote thing here. And once you get into that, it doesn't do anything. So control C and get out of that. So there seems to be some sort of limit with the amount of text that you can put in there. That uh, long note didn't work. Let's uh, try something a bit shorter. Let's go for a sentence. Let's copy that and try again note and then quotation marks here's my long note and press enter and that worked fine no problem at all so let's try two sentences and we've got two sentences this time and once again that worked well there's something in there that's messed it up further down in the text here and i don't know what it was but we won't worry about it. Generally, the thing that you want to use this for is if you're doing something in terminal and you just might need to make a quick note just to remind you of something about something you're doing in terminal. So you don't really need to worry about it too much. Just a short bit of text. And if you want to make a long bit of text in a note, then just open up Obsidian and do it directly in Obsidian. That will do it. While we've got this ZSH config file open, let's have a look at another function. This function called take and we've got it so that it will make a folder, make a directory, and then it will change to that directory you've just made. Because that's quite often what you want to do when you're making a new folder, to make the folder and then go directly to it. Let's see how this works. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot. So that's taking us into the documents folder, and we'll do ls, I'll show you what folders I've got in there at the moment. And let's make a new folder, so I'm gonna do take, and we'll do geeky as a folder name and I've done that and it's put me directly into this geeky folder so that's cool and there's going to be nothing in there so I can do Alice in there and you see there's nothing in there if I go back up a folder so Z space dot dot and go back up a folder and now if I do LS again you can see that I've got that geeky folder in there if I do LL get a bit more information and you can see the geeky folder that's the one there look how cool is that so this is dave allen doing good and geeky stuff with the terminal and having a bit of good and geeky fun bye bye now talk to you again soon